Hi everybody, Ian Bremer here. I've got your world in 60 seconds from Tokyo, Japan, right in front of the Diet. Uh, that is their parliament building. And uh, your questions are loaded up. Let's go. So first, as it turns 70, can the People's Republic of China coexist with the United States? Well, you know, I'm not one of these people who believes that we're heading to war, that Thucydides trap, rising power, declining power, it necessarily goes confrontation, in part because China doesn't have global military power or diplomatic capabilities. And even on the economy and trade, they need to work with the United States. Both sides ultimately know that. But on technology, we don't see coexistence. Right now, we see zero sumness. We see an end in unwinding globalization. I'm deeply concerned about that. That's why I think we're heading to a tech cold war. What does low voter turnout in their election mean for Afghanistan? Not just low, like the lowest in recent history. And it's, you know, in part because the security is an enormous problem. It's actually dangerous, physically dangerous for people to vote. And because the people that are gonna win ultimately don't have control of a lot of the country in Afghanistan. So it's less about elections than it is about basic security. You gotta get that right first. Is Ukraine the new Berlin Wall? No, but it's absolutely the thing that's gonna be dividing the Americans the most um, between Democrats and Republicans over the course of the next months. Interestingly, for Ukraine itself, we're closer to a deal with the Russians than we have been at any point since 2014 during the invasion. There was that recent uh, exchange of prisoners and the dip diplomacy with the Europeans is actually picking up a little bit. It's not great, but it's moving finally in the right direction. Be back with you next week.